but there are two players who feature quite you know, prominently in John Herdman's lineup. And these are also two players right now that aren't playing all that much. Richie Larea making a huge move from MLS uh, to Nottingham Forest in the championship. Hasn't featured yet. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't even think he's been on the bench. Uh, we know that Stefan Eustachio has been placed on, he's on loan, FC Porto. He too now with a stronger team. He's been playing, but not a lot. Um, now word is as well, that Richie would like to return um, to Toronto. We know that's uh, not as easy as, you know, some players obviously would like it because, as you know, if a player is sold, then when they want to come back, they have to go through an allocation process, and I don't even know where Toronto FC is. Bottom line is is they're not first in being able to choose him. Kaylin, where are you with, you know, players who take this, this risk, take this jump to go elsewhere and maybe are not getting the results they want to see right away? I don't think it's a risk. I think this is such a huge opportunity. And yeah, there. I guess you can maybe say there's, I, no, there's no risk behind it. I mean, you're going to massive clubs. I mean, Porto and Nottingham Forest are two huge clubs. Now, are you going to get in the starting 11 straight away? Sometimes you will, and sometimes you won't. And as these two players, I'm friends with Rich, Richie Larea. I know that he is hardworking. He's determined. He's grateful. He was honored with this move. He was he turned down the highest paid fullback mm -hmm. um, job in the MLS to make this move. It takes time. Now, if Richie needs to speak to someone, don't speak to Toronto. Speak to Kyle Laren. He did it when he went to Besiktas. Didn't even get in the lineup. Wasn't playing. They sent him out on loan. I forget. I don't even know where it was. To a club where... He didn't feel comfortable with it. was in a new place. He was like, I moved away from my family out of the MLS and quite frankly, put the MLS on a little bit of pressure to get him out and kind of made his bed, continued to claw his way back in, went back to Besiktas, was a top goal scorer for that team and ended up lifting the title the following year. So football moves so quickly. Players move in football so quickly. You look at Richie Larea with Toronto FC. Richie Larea has been through this. He wasn't playing in Orlando. He was barely making the bench. He was playing on Orlando City B team. He grinded it out, went to Toronto, didn't have a contract, went on trial there in preseason like Dom Dwyer did for Atlanta United, ended up signing with TFC, and one is, was going to be one of the highest paid fullbacks in the MLS. Then that got his him on the map for the Canadian men's national team. He wasn't even on the map for the Canadian men's national team until Toronto. So for Richie, grind it out. You're in an amazing club with so much culture. It's one of the biggest clubs in Europe. Yeah, you're going to have some growing pains. And yeah, maybe you're not getting the 90 minutes, but you're still in a training environment that is, is as good as the MLS, if not better. So if we're talking about 90 minute playing and, and not having that fitness, I mean, you saw what Canada did in the last window where most of their players were out and um, were in season, including mm -hmm. Richie Larea, and they still dominated the U.S. So take all of that stuff aside when it comes to the national team qualifying for the World Cup, I don't think that that will play an effect on it because you're still training at a very high level. And John Herdman knows how to manage your minutes. But for Richie Larea, I mean, grind it out. And, and the thing is, is with that, is if you are reaching out to Toronto through your agents or that always gets back to the club. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you just have to bite the bullet. Idiom? Is that an idiom? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and just suck it up. Get through it. You've been through it before. You've done this before. Mm -hmm. You're a fantastic player. One of probably the most exciting fullbacks in CONCACAF at the moment. So get through it. And I know Richie, and I'm not slating him because I think he's an absolutely quality mm -hmm. guy. Maybe this is just like rumbling behind the scenes. Frustrated, so right? Really You're frustrated. Yes, it's frustration. Yeah. But for me, he's going to be completely fine. And I, will, I don't think we'll see him back in the MLS. I think he has a good season over there. He'll even go to a bigger club in Europe.